Hey everyone, this is Joe with G with Touch of the Brush Model Weathering and welcome to the very first part as we show you how we build this small little location called Shirley. Now the name Shirley is a family member of my wife's and she used to love watching the trains go over through Chester, Arkansas on the Frisco and later on the Arkansas and Missouri Railroad and so Chester the family members in Chester called the bridge in Chester Shirley's Silver Bridge and so in memorial for Shirley we're gonna name this bridge Shirley Silver Bridge and this will be the little small little section of Shirley now originally the idea was to make this Papalopan Creek trestle in Fort Montgomery New York along the Conrail River line now today it's the CSX Riverline. Originally this whole layout wasn't even going to be a layout. It was going to be a diorama. And so I was going to create a 2 by 8 foot diorama of Papalopan Creek Trestle, which is single track, along with Fort Montgomery Tunnel. And split that on one side. Connecting through the tunnel will be another section of a little city scene. And so now here we are with Evansville Junction, the whole layout. And so we recreated the location here and now we're going to have a little bit of Arkansas where we live. And so this section is going to be a little bit of Arkansas. Now the town of Chester, Arkansas doesn't have the, doesn't have single track. It is, uh, well it doesn't have double track, it is single track. And so with this layout I wanted to run a double track main line. And so, this whole layout is in, it's based on inspiration. It's not any particular prototype per se, although some locations will have a little bit of the flavor of where you might see that location in the United States. So, with saying that, this is going to be the town of Shirley, Shirley Civil Bridge, double track mainline. line. This is where the crossover goes, and then it goes to the little yard lead there. And... This is the very first part of our construction and the first step was creating a base which was the original uh, roadbed was down here um, and so when we decided to add more foam we raised it up another inch so it was an inch and a half to probably almost two inches with the roadbed on top of here and the bridge in Arkansas and Chester rather is, is ballast and does have silver um, silver railings on each side and so that's I that's I believe that's how they got the name because they still have the original wooden um, trestles on uh, um, base up here is underneath and so with this I am gonna cross this between the bridge in Rudy Arkansas as well as the bridge in Chester Arkansas and so we're gonna have the stone pillars go underneath here on each side this will be a girder and with that girder on top will be the silver walkways and railings go along here and then right here in the center will be some shrubbery to separate it because both of the um, both of the trestles well both of the creeks are, are the, the frog bayou and I think clear water are the two water sources that go underneath the bridges and so we're gonna come we're gonna have both of them right here right in between um, one will be more uh, heavier with the water, another one will be, be lighter, um, not as um, full or as deep. And we'll have some fishermen, some people playing in the, uh, in the water. No, not really, because this is going to be the fall. <laughs> people will be cold by that point. So we're going to have um, maybe some canoers and some fishermen for, for sure. And the, re the reason why I created this the way I did is because you have the background which is neutral ish background for the um, uh, the sky but the black you see here is based off a youtuber and his channel name is MLWQC and his video is called how to make four ground trees 
I have his video in my how to playlist so if you go into my how to playlist you will find the video there and ML MLWQC is his channel name he had a great idea for the trees in which you have a dark background behind your super trees or the trees that you create or you place there on the on the on the on the ground cover and it looks like it is a deeper forest because it goes darker and darker into black so it looks like a deep forest it gives a great forced perspective and so I took his idea and bring it here to the town of Shirley and what we're gonna do we're gonna have, since the, the I'm gonna make the the uh, the creek beds or the rivers curve slightly just a bit this way so it looks like it's a little bit of forced perspective and going to have the trees along the front here and back here and along over here and they're gonna go this way and this way if I give the purple on my hands <laughs> we were playing with a little our little uh, newborn goat and um, we were sealing up his umbilical cord so now I have all this chemical on my fingers <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that's exactly what it is anyway uh, so that's what's gonna go on here we're gonna have the trees going this way in the beautiful autumn colors of Arkansas mixed with some green because we do have some greenage in our tree our tree rainbow color of rainbow as I, I call it because it's all different kind of colors and uh, obviously the track will be ballast and we'll have the bridge like I said earlier so the trees are going along here strawberry here and we also will have uh, trees going along here to the left will be a tunnel which will separate the fall scene from the winter scene and there will also be a bookend piece to to hold this all together um, there will be an overpass on the right side over the lead yard tracks and if you saw my last vlog I picked up some actual Arkansas dirt and gravel here that is um, right from the side of the road and it does have a very very similar color to what you see down in the creeks and the rivers below in Arkansas especially around Chester and Rudy so guys that is the plan I appreciate everybody hanging out with me with part one I can't wait to get forward with part two on the scenery build and who says you have to do all your track work and wiring before you can start some scenery work you can always do whatever you want it's your model railroad and this is how I'm doing it so guys thank you so much for watching and you guys be blessed and look forward to part two